welcome back to the sawmill guys it's been a while uh, we just had a lot of really really cold weather some single digits some negative temperatures and uh, it's been hard getting out here this uh, mill shed isn't heated and I don't like the cold so today we have somewhat of a heat wave it's in the 40s today and all the snows melting and I figured it was a good day to get out here and try to do this video. So today, what I've been wanting to show you guys, I'm, I'm trying to get something set up to answer a question I get a lot in person and online. And the question is, how hard is it to push a manual sawmill down the tracks while it's cutting a log? Uh, I don't think it takes a lot of force. And that's what I tell everybody. Uh, it is going to depend on how wide your logs are, what kind of logs they are, what degree blade you're using. Um, if your blade is dull, obviously it's going to push a little harder. But even with a dull blade, I, I don't think it's that hard to push down the tracks. So today, what I've tried to set up is a scale that I have. It's a hanging scale, but I've set it up on the mill on a push handle so as I push on the handle it should show you the amount of force I'm having to put into the saw head to get it to cut through the log so let's get started and see how it works out this is a walnut log it's 16 inches wide at the butt end and it's pretty crooked but it's gonna work good enough for what we need to do we've got I don't know about eight foot of uh, straight log here and then it tapers off at the end but that shouldn't matter. Let's get started. I forgot on one of the last videos somebody wanted to know where's my gloves at while I'm milling. Well they're right here. They're, they're in my pocket. Hopefully you guys can see this good enough. This is my plan. This is the push stick here. I've got the scale attached to that so the hook is hooked in the end and as I push on it, it pulls this hook out of the scale and that's what gives you the reading on the scale. So I'm also going to be using this big zip tie on the throttle of the mill to hold it down. So the only thing I'm pushing on is going to be this board so we get everything put into the scale to get you guys somewhat accurate reading. This is not a professional setup by any means. It's just a general way to get you guys some kind of answer for how much force it takes to push the mill down the tracks. I've got the other camera here that's going to be set up and the only thing that camera is going to see is the reading on the scales.
Anybody see what I did wrong here? Looks like I forgot to put the bucket on. Oh well, it's just a little sawdust on the floor. Alright, I know you guys always like to see some water put on the log so you can see what the grain looks like. That water's really frozen. I'm gonna go get some more. Well, I just risked my life for you guys to get some fresh water here. Uh, I'm a little bit worried. I walked across my wife's kitchen floor with my muddy boots on. Oh, if you guys don't end up seeing this video on YouTube, you know why. guys I hope you can see me up there you guys are sitting up in the loft um, this is gonna be the last cut I'm gonna do for this test I believe that'll be four cuts it will give you a rough idea what kind of pressure it takes to push this mill down the track so this next cut is going to be the widest cut uh, I believe the butt of this log was 16 inches and this is going to be the widest board. It should be 15, 16 inches wide. So let's see what kind of uh, measurements we get. Okay guys, that's going to do it for this video today. I hope you liked what I tried to do here with the scales. Try to get how much force it takes to push one of these manual sawmills down through a log. Uh, I did a lot of 
research looking around and I could not find any videos on YouTube or any information on the internet of how much force it actually takes to push one of these mills through a log. So for the people that are trying to find out if they can buy one of these mills, if they're going to be able to push it down uh, and cut a log or if it's going to be too much force for them, I hope this video helps them out. Now I understand it's not a real controlled environment and a professional setup, but it's not made to be that. It's just supposed to be a guy in his yard with whatever I had laying around and, and that's what I used. So it should be good enough uh, for anybody looking for something like this. I appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my video and I really appreciate all the new subscriptions that I've been getting lately. Lots of new comments on the videos. I'm trying to answer and reply back to everyone that I can. You guys are great. I appreciate all the support. So thanks a lot and we'll see you on the next video.